Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video. Today we're going to install this LG DVD burner. It's model number GH24NSC0. Uh, awesome DVD burner. We're going to be putting it into this Cooler Master N200 case. Now this is very easy to do. Let's get to it. Okay, on this N200 case, it's got the CD-ROM bay right there. So that's what we're going to do. A lot of times you can actually reach inside the case and just pop out those little panels. But in this particular case, it doesn't work like that. What you got to do is you reach down below here and you actually pull up, you actually pull up the, uh, the, whole, the whole piece, right? That whole part. And so, uh, as you can see here, this part on the back will have two little latches. So what you're going to do is you're just going to pop those in like that and pop that one in and that comes out. So what you can do now is you can pop that right back in and it just snaps into place. I know it sounds like it's going to break or something, but it's okay. You can usually be a little rough, not too rough, but uh, you just got to kind of know how much force to give it. Once that uh, front uh, panel is on, you can take your uh, DVD burner, slide it through the gap. On the inside, we are going to have little holes. Line up the holes. Okay, I like to go to that top hole. You can go to the bottom hole, whatever hole you want to whatever hole floats your boat there. So I'll just put a, actually I'll go here down to the bottom one. We'll put a screw in there. Now these screws are the smaller threaded screws. They're called the M3 screw and it's the same screw that um, you would put in uh, in a floppy drive which you don't use anymore or basically in your CD-ROMs. These are not the same screws that go into the power supply or the hard drive. So okay, I've got two screws in there so that's secure. Now on the other side it's uh, ideal if you put two more screws on that side. I'm not going to do that because of uh, time constraints but yeah you would just take off the side panel and you'd put those in but for this video we're just going to show you on this side. What you'll do now is on the inside, <clears throat> I'll flip this over, okay. On the inside you've got your SATA connector. I'm going to pop that in there. Then you're going to go right to the motherboard. You can pick a bay, it does, or you can pick a SATA port, it doesn't matter. And what you're going to want to do now is find a SATA power plug. So uh, here's a SATA power plug. Oh, no, that is a four pin Molex plug. Let's go with the SATA connectors. Now your SATA connector is, uh, looks like that. Okay, so it's got like the little L shape. So, and then you're going to want to put that in the same way. If you can't see what you're doing, I'll just pop that out so you can see what I'm doing there. Uh, that one is going to go in like that. All right, and then we can plug that back in. Again, keep, pay attention to the L shape. The L shape is like that. There we go. Now, if we've got an operating system, we turn on this computer and that CD-ROM will show up. And that's all there is to it. And that is how you install a DVD burner into a computer case. Piece of cake, right? Anyway, if you liked that video, like and subscribe. Be sure to tune in to our next video. We'll see you next time.